Regina George is flawless. She has two Fendi purses and a silver Lexus. I hear her hair is insured for $10,000. I hear she does car commercials in Japan. Her favorite movie is Varsity Blues. One time she met John Stamos on a plane. And he told her she was pretty. One time she punched me in the face. It was awesome. Oh my god. I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage. So adorable. Thanks. <laughs> That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. I'm kind of psychic. I have a bit sense. What do you mean? It's like I have ESPN or something. My breasts can always tell when it's gonna rain. Really? I just wish we could all get along like we used to in middle school. I wish that I could bake a cake made out of rainbows and smiles and we'd all eat and be happy. She doesn't even go here. I knew how this would be settled in the animal world. But this was... Yeah, so don't try to act so innocent. You can take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy... And that's how Regina George died. No, I'm totally kidding. Buddy, you're not pretending anymore. You're plastic. Cold, shiny, hard plastic. Curfew, 1 a.m. and it's now 1.10. Did you have an awesome time? Did you drink awesome shooters and listen to awesome music and then just sit around and soak up each other's awesomeness? You know, because you are a mean girl. You're a bitch. How do I explain Goneril? Goneril is flawless. She has two Fendi purses and a silver Lexus. I hear her hair is insured for $10,000. I hear she does car commercials in Ireland. Favorite show is Dover Shore. One time she met John Stamos on a plane and he told her she was pretty. One time she banished me from the kingdom. It was awesome. We could just all get along like we used to. I wish I could bake a cake made of rainbows and smiles, and we'd all eat and be happy. He doesn't even have eyeballs! Hi, I'm uh, poor Tom. My name's actually Edgar. I've had some really bad times. My uh, family has abandoned me. I had to flee my house. It's been really bad. They think I did something I didn't do. Please, take me to the parking lot. Ah, uh, my life just got worse. No, I can't do that. It's dangerous. You'll get yourself killed. Oh, please. I need to end it all right now. Well, fine. Ask that crazy boy over there. Sir, would you take me to the parking lot? Yeah, let's go, blind man. Goneril, you're evil! Cold plastic evil! How do you think you're so awesome? Betraying your family? That's just horrible. How dare you? You're the one who made me this way so you could get land. Did you have an awesome time stealing your father's fortune? Did you and Reagan have an awesome time drinking shooters? Did you and Reagan have an awesome time listening to music? Just go and soak in your awesomeness together. Oh, just shut up. You're a coward. All you do is sit around while our country's threatened, and you're like, yeah, well, my life is so hard. And when you gone, or you evil, plastic bitch, you're a mean girl. Texting. Colonel's transferring to cop me because he punched Gloucester in the face, and they called Mr. Bullock a doofus. Oh no, now that Cornwall's gone, Reagan's gonna go after Edmund. And that's not fair. I was half a virgin when I met Edmund. King of France went home so suddenly? He had to deal with a problem. Cordelia is in charge of the army now. He sent a text to Cordelia? How did she react? Based on her reply, she was pretty upset. Did this happen before the King of France went home? No, afterward. Uh, well, Lear's here in Dover, but he refuses to see Cordelia. He's so embarrassed. Poor guy. Anything about Cornwall and Albany's troops? Yeah, they're gonna go beat up the French. Thanks, man. Come with me, I'll take you to Lear. Once I reveal my true identity, you'll be glad you helped me. Wanted us? Oh my gosh, I love your cape. Where'd you get it? 
Oh, it was my dad's in the 1400s. Vintage, how adorable. Well, hey, uh, I called you over to go and find Lear. He's out roaming some field or something. I don't know what he's doing. Just, just don't find him. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is the ugliest effing cape I've ever seen. Reagan, bitch, gonorrhea, bitch, slut, bitch. Oh, 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 oh. So, Doctor, is there any way that Lear will gain his sanity back? Well, Lear just needs some rest right now. There are medicines that can help him sleep. Glad to hear. Oh, and the British troops are coming. <sighs> Don't worry, we'll be ready. That's what, tell me the news. Well, I'm kind of psychic. It's like I have a bit sense. I have ESPN or something. My breast can just tell that Albany's troops are coming. Really? That's amazing. Hey, what's that letter you have? Oh, I'd rather not say. Is Goneril trying to hook up with Edmund? It makes way more sense that I date him. Beats me. <laughs> It's not like I'm sending her secret love letters or anything. I stop. Why don't you help me find Gloucester? I need to have a talk with him. Okay. Here's your parking lot, sir. Are you sure? This doesn't feel like asphalt. Trust me, it's a parking lot. There you go. Say goodbye, Edgar. I'm going home. And that's when he wants to die. No, I'm totally kidding. Am I alive? Yeah, dude, can't you see? No, dude, I'm blind. Oh, you're lucky to survive, man. That was a ratchet fall. Let's go, buddy. I've been sent here by Goneril to kill Gloucester. Let go of him, or you shall die too. Never, I shall protect him. I guess this will be a battle to the death. Oh my god, I didn't think you'd actually kill me. It's your fair daughter, Cordelia. Oh, hello, Cordelia. How I have wronged you. It's okay, Father. I forgive you. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Let my kiss heal your sorrow. <laughs>